Hello and welcome back to the tutorial of Classic Snake Game. I'm Ali and in this video I'm going to show you how to add game over screen for the game. So let's get it started. Alright, let's create a new layer here. I'm going to call this game over. And in game over I need to create a tile background object uh, with color of this object. So I already picked this color using this tool and uh, I'm gonna go to game over layer and double click here search for tile background and hit OK hit uh, click and I'm gonna use this tool and fill this object okay let's make it bigger and change the opacity to something like 50 to make it transparent and I'm gonna call this BG game over 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 come on man okay uh, let's change the origin to center and put it just here I'm gonna change the size and position of this layer uh, position of this object using uh, actions here so let's go in here create a new group called game over hit B button and here add action uh, BG game over set position to layout width divided by 2 and layout height divided by 2 it's going to uh, be on on the center of the screen okay now let's change the size of BG game over let's change it to viewport width of layer 2 layer 2 is game over and viewport height of layer 2 it's going to be fit in the screen doesn't matter what device we use uh, it's going to fit the screen so let's run the game and as you can see it's just uh, including this area because uh, we already uh, used camera to scroll to this position so we want to make this layer out of any scroll, out of any camera uh, move. So let's go and change this parallax to 0 by 0 and let's run the game. As you can see it's fitting the screen size and it's very nice. Okay now let's go and create a text on this layer for showing game over so i'm going to clone this text object and put it here in layer game over i'm going to change the name to txt go or game over and let's change the text to game over okay i'm going to make it bigger put it here and let's change the horizontal alignment to center and origin to center and I'm gonna change the scale to something like 160 and put it in middle of the layout just like this okay I'm gonna copy and paste uh, this object using control just con uh, just uh, push control and drag this object to make a copy of this and let's change the name to change the text to press any key to retry okay and three dots and let's change the scale to 100 or something like 880 eight okay it's very good I'm going to change the size and put it here, align, layout, center horizontal and I'm going to use sign behavior to make a little animation, a little transparency animation for this object. Okay, now let's change the movement to opacity and change period to uh, something like 1 and change the magnitude to 50. 50 is okay. 
Okay, now we need to go and disable sign for this text object. So now let's run the game. And as you can see, it's have a little transparency animation. Okay. Okay, this is the game over page for the game. And we need to show this game over when head of the snake hits its body. Okay. So let's uh, just first uh, make it invisible. So let's hit P button, double click system and on a start of layout, I'm gonna uh, change the visibility of layer, set layer visible, invisible, which layer? Game over, game over, okay. And hit done. I'm going to put this event here and create a new global variable. I'm going to call this game. What's wrong with me? Game over. Uh, its value is zero at the start and when game is over, it's going to be one. Okay. So hit OK and we want to change this value here. Hit P button, double click and I'm going to say when a snake on collision with f a snake and if f a snake f a snake is n is greater than three which is one of the bodies and let's copy and paste this event and hit r for replacing this event to a snake and i'm going to change this to equal to one so here I set when a snake's head, which is number one, uh, hit it on, hit it F a snake, which is another body of itself. Uh, so we need to show game over. And showing game over will be something like that. Okay. Add action, system, set value, game over equal to one, and hit P button and double click and here I want to say when game over is equal to one show game over so put this objects here and I'm gonna copy this action and paste it here and let's change the visibility to visible and hit done because I want to uh, run these actions here just one time I need to just go here copy paste this event and add trigger once while through okay this is going to be uh, run these actions once when game is over so uh, let's just run the game okay okay as you can see I hit my uh, I hit the snake's body so game over is showing but we need to stop the game so let's go in controlling a snake and copy paste this uh, event and change to game over is equal to zero and copy and paste it here and uh, let's run again okay very good so when I hit any key on the keyboard doesn't work now we need to uh, hit any key on the keyboard and retry as we mentioned that here so close this window and let's go here hit B button and we want to say when game is over and hit B button and we pressed uh, any key on the keyboard game over should disappear and game should retry so add action system reset global variables and add action system uh, restart layout okay it's run and let's just test this okay 
all right thanks for watching this was the last video of this series like and subscribe for more videos and tutorials have a great day see ya